yes. Odd craft. Hello everybody, it's been far too long since the last Odd Craft episode. I've actually uh, missed most of everything. Uh, this is actually season two, apparently. Uh, maybe I don't know what it could be season three for all I know. Uh, I missed all of the last season. Uh, I missed the first half of this season. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I've didn't. I'm not starting from the very start. Uh, I got in my myself equipped quite a bit, as you can see right here. I got my elytra. I, I found some enchanting books after far too long fishing which by the way fishing is still a bit overpowered I want to get back to fishing later uh, I got all of this diamond from a uh, good old mining session uh, it's kind of worn out because of all that mining and caving it's lots of freaking monsters they're annoying uh, Minecraft realm monster generation or spawn rates they're just broken it seems just so random it's not revolving around the players just Hello. It's just revolving around everything. Hey, anyway, the last time you weren't here, but I got these two adorable little pigs, and they're just going to be in this boat now. Uh, saddle, rideable pigs. Uh, and I have no fireworks, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and take, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take Shadow the Horse. Yeah, original name, huh? I'm just going to show you, uh, what everyone's doing so far. Uh, now I haven't actually spoken to most of the people in this season, but there's, uh, I believe there's a base over there that belongs to Sam, um, and seems to be dealing with a lot of horses, like uh, 3BJ or under at least 13. I don't know. I don't know what these. I don't know what these are. This is like a horse. It's just okay. It seems like they just have horse organization. Okay, these are four block jump. That's neat. Best horses have saddles. That is pretty dang neat. I have not. I've actually never taken the time to look at these bases myself, so it's going to be interesting for you and me. So, Sam uh, seems to have gone through and placed a lot of flowers. This is a little, pr very pretty area over here. Um, we got uh, little, uh, very subtle details, which is nice. Uh, these sugarcane are all varying in height. They have string on top of them. Um, we got some more horses here. A random dirt block. I'm uh, not sure what that's all about. I'm just gonna. Why do you keep going away from me, Shadow? I mean, I know you haven't eaten in months, but you know, <laughs> it's no biggie. This is just a horse. You're not. You're not hooked up to anything. Wait, what are you doing over here, man? There's so many saddles. Fishing is way overpowered in this game. I've, they've also got a little carrot farm going on over here, which is uh, neat. It's not all that full yet. Um, I don't have any carrots, otherwise I would plant some for you, but, you know, you know how it goes. Uh, we got, uh, the base over here. Uh, I want to hook you up to I don't have anything to hook you up to. You just don't run off shot. Uh, we got a little base here. We got the nether portals. Um, uh, their base seems to lead down over to here, where they got the cats. I, I gave them a name tag, because this person doesn't have, or this little kitty doesn't have a name uh, like we got uh, Thomas and em Emeline. I don't know. We also got dogs. More dog. My horse is gonna run away. <laughs> and we got the pig area. My little abode. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. We also got a door to the outside over there. Um, this has got an enchanted table where. There's no space for books. That's great. No valuables. You ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm not, I'm not gonna touch those. And you got some nether. Are you sure about that? <laughs> okay. It's like a oh, this is some place down here. Nice little table. Looks just like a small mine. There's. A, must have been an enderman down here. That's interesting. It's just random. There's tables everywhere. How odd. <laughs> well, I guess it's fitting for the name. So this one just looks like just a regular mine. I'm not gonna bother with too much. These ta <laughs> these tables though. This is pretty interesting. 
Let's get out of here. I suppose what I should show next is my own base. Now this is my little base with... Admittedly, the banners looked cooler in my head. I didn't have any red dye on me, so I used the sunflowers from the field over there. It, it wasn't ideal. But it, it gets the job done. There's no point of having these banners in this version because uh, banners can't be added to your maps in Bedrock for some reason. Uh, but uh, this is my little base so far. We've got my little armor stand, my cartography table, brewing stand, uh, everything else. You got a little way onto the roof. There's nothing up here yet. I don't even know if I'm ever going to put anything up here. Maybe I'll turn this into a bigger castle. Uh, who knows? Uh, I got my plant. Great little plant on this table. I got all my items. This is yeah, pretty bare bones and whatnot. Um, so basic stuff. You got this chest plate that I got with thorns. This is my old retired iron armor. I don't know what happened to my iron chest plate. Uh, it's probably somewhere. Uh, you got my bell that I stole from an owl that hurt my ears, that I stole from a village, my berries, um, and then I guess I should show you uh, the, uh, uh, Devin's base. I think it's Devin's. I don't know whose base it is. I suppose I should show you uh, this base. I'm, I really don't know whose base this is, but their base is just over this hill over here. And uh, they ha there's a jukebox set to play whenever someone comes into the area. I don't know if that's a bug or not. There it is. It just happens. So that's the new pig step, which is okay. I'm getting some frame rate drops because of how big their base is and how much they have in this base. So I am very in interesting. Okay, the frame rate's not doing too well here. That's eh, fine. We got pig step playing loud. I'm just gonna turn the volume down on my headphones. Uh, got a neat little area. It's these trap doors. Uh, that leads into a portal down there, which has. Uh, it's just head down there. It's kind of interesting. So basically, we had. Uh, there's probably stuff on these. If anything happens to me, take these wings. Something happened here. It was interesting. I guess this is interesting another portal. I said interesting a lot. I'm sorry, but you you never know. It's it's always in, I <laughs> I'm about to say interesting again, but it's, it is. It really is. Going throughout someone else's world and seeing what's past stories might have happened and when. Eh, it's all new stuff. It's a very nice base. I must say, it's a very nice base. Uh, we got the villager farm. A little villager breeder seeming they're they're definitely ready to sell some books or something there's there's definitely preparing for something uh they're not doing too well in stock um maybe i'll give them my maybe i'll give them my book that i have for some many books Ooh, pretty six times Ooh, that's that's a steal dang okay let's take a peek in here what, what we got Perf, that's a lot of villager cramming yeah, so there's just all these villagers. I'm not going to go through all of them because they probably wouldn't want me to. Uh, that's, that's neat. Ah, it's about time that music stops. What is going on up there? I've actually not been to the third floor of this place. Oh, there's the music again. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm looking at. There's probably some sort of farm. Uh, what's in here? Is it just a chicken? Ah, oh, and I locked myself in here. Okay. Uh. Uh. Oh, guess that exists. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Ah, I wish I had fireworks. I don't have any gunpowder. Uh, maybe. Uh, I'll just. Uh, just can't parkour there. Huh. Let's see. What is up there? Is it just a bell? What, what is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, uh, anyway, uh, that's their base, but I guess um, uh, their portal is relatively close to 
the other portal. Or Sans portal. So it should, should be fine. So I'm just gonna... Uh, I guess I'll show you what we have in the nether. There's not really anything in the nether. Uh, so basically, here's this portal. This portal over here. And Sam's base. We also got uh, Devin's base. And the way that I, uh, the way I go to get from my base to, I, I guess the mar market district, shopping district. Yeah, I think it's the market district. Whatever. Let's go up this good old ladder. My route is probably not the best, so I have no idea what I'm doing. Now look, there's a blaze just right here, not even close to the spawner. So, spawn rates are just broke. Like, look at all these blazes! There's not even a spawner! Uh, ex ex excuse my sucky playing. Uh, because I am not. Not only am I not used to talking while recording, but I'm also kind of laggy. Uh, the internet has been having some issues lately. I'm not sure why. Uh, but basically, I placed that little stone pillar over there. Uh, so I know that you just have to go over this hill because uh, the market district is not that far. Um, now there is a slight issue I have with the market district, and I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, but uh, the way you get over here is you just go through here, um, and you basically go through this pit of despair. Like, look at all this fire. There's far too much fire here because uh, gas attacks there are so many ghasts in this like way way too many ghasts uh, I swear I hit that there's far too many ghasts that spawn like look at that it's just another spawn okay we got that nether portal there it doesn't really lead to anywhere in particular I just built that nether portal to get rid of the obsidian nope uh, okay just to get rid of the obsidian Never really ended up using it for anything, so I believe the way to continue is. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not lost. Let's go over this hill. Uh, yeah, here it is. And you pass by this little bunker area, I guess. I don't know what it is. And you're gonna go down these stairs. And then. It's right over here! Ah. Market District Portal. Ah, uh, good old market districts. Now there, there's the one issue I have with this portal. It always leads to here. Now there's another portal that's actually closer to spawn, but I don't know how to get here from get 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 there from here. So we just got this little mushroom farm. Like the music's very fitting. Feels very pokey. If you know what I, if you know it, I mean, very pokey. We got the here it is, shopping district cow. Uh, do I have anything to leave for the shopping district cow? Um, that's, uh, mm, no, nothing for today. Sorry. Uh, nest of end commodities. We got enchanted elytras and whatnot, dragon heads. Yeah, I, I bought one of them. As you can see, and fireworks. Ah, uh, <laughs> anyway, let's just uh, let's focus on the task on hand. What I wanted to do out here was actually find out how to get to the other place from here, because I want to be able to traverse these places with ease. So I was right to an extent with my uh, initial est uh, guesstimate, I guess, um, where it possibly could be. Bolts in this version are so annoying. You have to make a shovel every time. But my uh, my initial guess was that it would be just over here, in this direction. And compasses are also broken in boats. They point different directions when you're in a boat. Like, what is that? Where is the compass pointing? <laughs> I'm just gonna go this way and uh, hope to see if I can make it. Goodbye, uh, shopping district area. Ooh. Is that a coral reef? Dang, that's pretty. I can't say I've actually found one. In an ocean, in an actual survival. Ooh. 
Ugh, I don't like that. Did you see that? Some of that sucky water. Literally sucky. Um, there is an ocean temple. I've, n I've never seen an ocean temple so close to a coral reef. That is cool. Uh, I'm, I'm proud. Uh, guess, guess not. Guess I'm not steering away. Oh my god, is it really just right here? Oh my god, it's right here. Let me take this. The other place is just right here. This is where spawn is. Spawn is right there. Spawn is right there. There is a cross here. Um. Okay. Let's just ignore that. I'm gonna take these uh, saplings. Uh, this is where spawn is. I spawned over there. Um, we got in memory of sand villager. I hate creepers. That we gotta. Now wait, what I wanted to find was uh, I don't know what to call this place. I, I, well, I like to call it the tree area. I've been looking in the feed a bit, and some of the more recent stuffs talking about trees looking better. Uh, yep, there it is. That's a good old tree. Uh, I would sleep, but you know, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and fly over there. I'm not gonna make it. Nope, I didn't make it. I still have mine fatigue. How long do I have this for? Three minutes! <laughs> Thank you. Man, mining fatigue is so annoying. So, we got this stuff here. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the tree. This is pretty neat. Now, I don't know what the plans are for this tree. I actually just started playing this, this server like a few days ago. Like, yeah, just a few days ago. Food. Lots of food. You know what? Maybe if you, maybe if you spread it out, it'll look like there's more. You know. There. Now it looks like more food. Oh, let's see if I can remember my way back. So basically, we have to go the opposite direction of the chest and lodestone, and look for that crafting table, which is helpfully right there because I placed it. And then the stairs are just over here. Now, I've seen so many nether fortresses, I think they've been made more common in the last update, which is ridiculous, because I don't even think this word was generated in the last update. But, uh, I just gotta go this way. There's that useless portal again. I, I might actually start building over there. So, there's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. I've actually wanted to create an old-school Minecraft village. The original Minecraft village. And not just any original Minecraft village. I wanted to make an original Minecraft water village. A Minecraft village that generated over water and had wooden planks for the paths and whatnot. You know, this is good stuff. Uh, where am I going? Uh, shoot, I, am I lost again? <laughs> um, I wanted to make a, a water village for a while just to capture like what used to be. This is a great time for Minecraft. All the villages used to... Everything had character. That's something I really want to focus on. Everything had character. You'd never come across the same terrain. You'd always come across something crazy. Ow! <laughs> There's always be something crazy. Where am I going? You'd always come across something crazy. Uh, whether it be... Hilly Mountains, a village that's elevated over the ground um, like a million blocks. Or something as simple as, you know, a tree house. I don't think those existed. Uh, you just find crazy things. You, and with those crazy things you find, it would inspire you to make something just as crazy. And I think that's something that Minecraft these days lack. Because back then, uh, you used to have to actually ration your... Well, you didn't really have to... Actually, yeah, rationing was a huge thing. You have to go through a lot of... You know, I'm going on a rant here. I'm, I'll just wrap this up. Basically, there was a much simpler palette and you had to be more creative with it. That's that's my point I'm trying to get at here. Uh, not that all these new blocks are bad. Uh, except for maybe andesite and granite and 
die right, especially die right. That sucks. Uh, it's just it's, it's not, not the same. It's not quite the same. And I think that really sums up everything I do in my ow in Minecraft. It's just not quite the same. This is odd. Uh, No, I was actually kind of like looking at them. Let's just head back to the base. I suppose I should make a simple mob farm. And I'm going to build the mob farm near my base because I've already torched out a lot of the space. There shouldn't be a whole lot of mob spawns nearby here. I'm going to create an old school mob farm. One that's basically good old simple trapdoor. Basically, a mob spawn up there. They walk off the trapdoor and then they die. Well, actually, they fall enough so they will come close to dying. I don't want them to actually die because there's some valuable XP in there. So I'm just gonna build it up. Now I'm not sure what to build it out of. Maybe I, I could make it out of cobble, but then netherrack's also cheaper and easier to collect. Um, I, I, I guess I'm. It's like an impasse. I don't know. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and fly there. It feels like a waste of firework rockets, but you know, I haven't flown at all throughout this video. What's a hermitcraft knockoff without flying? Am I right? Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, well, I'm thinking maybe right here, because this is a pretty empty space, which I guess is perfect for it. So. This is where the mobs are going to drop. They're going to fall right onto this little platform here, and that's where I can start killing them. Now, the elevation of this platform may vary, so I don't know. But I'm hoping I can get this to look cool. Uh, this may be a little bit of a waste of blocks, but I want this to look sleek. sleek. I want this to look sleek enough. Uh, so this is where it's going to start. They're going to fall down this long tube, and then they're going to fall, and then they're going to die, and then I'm going to collect their resources. That's not what I want to do. Thank you. And this, uh, I don't need this down. I'm just going to... I've never actually used scaffolding before, so this is kind of This is kind of handy. Oh, there's that lags, like I mentioned earlier. Okay, let's just, uh... Okay, na -na -na -na. But, but I'm going to do this so it can have this little pattern of kind of, of transition into uh, the netherrack, in which I'm going to start building with. And I have to get all the way up there. Uh, shoot. Uh... That's fine. I can always get back. I can always go back and make more. Collect more, not make. I don't make nether wreck. But I think this is looking good. I'm gonna keep my elytra on just in case I fall. Ooh, look at those wings. Man, it's been so long. I've never actually done anything productive in a YouTube video ever since I made a trading machine tutorial, and that video sucked. Ow. Man, I'm much better at landing in creative mode. Uh, big surprise, I guess. And there we have it. We have most of... Well, actually, I think this is all of the uh, tube. And this is where the mobs are going to be falling from. Now, it's going to take a lot of blocks to make the farm itself, and I'm gonna have to make sure all the torches are actually properly placed. But, it's a start. And I think that's better than anything I've done in Oddcraft so far. I've been in a hole for the majority of all Oddcraft in total. And I haven't made much progress at all. And while I'm building this, my nether wart will also grow, which is very nice. Uh, do I have any gold? I want to make these into golden carrots. 
Oh, lighting bug. Do I have gold? I have seven nuggets. Um, I don't think I need a gold sword. Yeah, I don't need gold sword. I'm never going to use this. So I can just smelt this down. And then I'll have enough nuggets to make a total of one whole golden carrot. Alright, I've collected a fair bit of netherrack. I'm going to go ahead and head back to base. And we can get... Excuse me. And we can get into the actual... Building part of the actual spawner. So... It's going to be... It's going to look awesome in the distance. It's just going to be a huge... It's going to look like a mushroom. <laughs> it's going to look like a very skinny mushroom. Uh, can I land? Can I land it? Yes. But here's what we got to work with. So basically it's going to be flowing water. And it's going to flow into it. Now I believe water can flow nine blocks. So it's going to, I'm going to give it a little test. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you can place it like that. I don't know why I'm not doing that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, let's just get it like this. My pickaxe is almost broken. Uh, I, ca I can make a new one. I think I have enough diamonds, but I think I do have to go for another diamond mining session, which I've been doing a lot of just to get all this diamond stuff. All my diamonds are breaking. Uh, place the water. Does it actually go over the edge? I made it a little too long. That's fine. Let's just try getting these blocks. No, we're not getting those. Can I get that? Nope. Okay, we just got... Uh, <laughs> I'm not liking how easy this is to break. I guess that comes in the, ter the territory of using this stuff. Um, but there's a nice lake over there. Everyone knows that. I've actually never seen it from that high. So, I... <laughs> I forgot to place the water, just to... Mm. Mm. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Fly! Oh my, I just used up all my rockets in that one liftoff sequence. That was awful. Okay, there we go. We got an infinite water source now. That is great. So, what we're going here for is a simple little design here. Uh, this platform is going to have to be elevated a little bit. I uh, placed it a little too low, as you can see. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to go through and just take off this floor. Uh, I actually have to log off for now. But I'll come back to this uh, later. Alright. So it's now night time. I am back from my algebra. And I've made a few changes. Uh, as you can see, I have installed a texture pack. Uh, that is supposedly supposed to make this feel and look more like Java Edition. Which I hope it does. I hope so. <laughs> because bedrock is very clunky. It would also explain why my bar is on the bottom of my screen now. Oh anyway, wait, now that that's all the way, I've got some uh, mine to do. Uh, there goes my pick. Well, it was uh, gonna happen eventually, so. I guess we're gonna have to go make a new one. Oh my god, the music's loud. Did I always have it this loud? <laughs> right. Yeah, that's how, how we on diamonds. We have enough for 
one diamond pick. Let's make this one count. Oh, there it is. Good old diamond pick. Where's my rockets? Am I out? Oh yeah, I forgot. I wasted all my rockets. What did I pick up? Yeah, I don't know. So, I need to get everything else all hunky-dory up here. I do not have as much... Oh, uh, yeah, I still have this to do, don't I? As, let me finish this up. And we should be golden. Just gotta build this up a bit. And once this is working, it's gonna make life so much easier. Uh, hopefully. I don't actually know if it's gonna work because of how weird spawn rates are in realms for bedrock. So it's it's kind of a gamble, but uh, I guess it's worth it's worth giving a shot anyway. So now, last time I built one of these was in a survival world. Uh, part of it was in a glacier biome. Now, you can probably assume already that it wasn't good because water does freeze. And that's exactly what happened. One entire branch just straight up didn't work. And, I mean, it was still pretty efficient because I got blocks and I got drops from mobs. It wasn't the most efficient thing in the world, but it was better than nothing. I'll, I'll give you. I'll, I'll tell you that it was much better than nothing. So I'm gonna go. Ha Should probably make sure that's on. <laughs> that could have gone so much worse. Oh my god. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead to the Nether. Get some more Netherrack. Like all, all this episode is just gonna be is me gathering Netherrack. And safely landed. Like, how do you make nether brick? This is just... Of course not. How do you make nether brick? Is it really just... Do you just smelt it in a furnace? I'm gonna have to try that out later. Because then we can turn this into a little nether brick uh, pathway. Because of how easy netherrack is to obtain. And with that taken care of, I'm gonna go see... Oh, sh oh no. Oh no. Alright, what do we have to do now? We gotta finish filling this in. And then after this, we're gonna have to fill up. We're gonna have to cover up all these walls, and then we're gonna have to deal with the ceiling situation. And for the ceiling, it's going to take up a lot of resources. So, we got that. As well as the trap doors, which we are also going to be needing to place along here. So, that's going to take uh, quite a bit of wood. I should probably <laughs> I should probably build this part first. Uh, I'm not going to have a place for my scaffolding now. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight. One, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six, seven, eight. Oh my god. <sighs> How did I manage to get do this? Oh my god. Okay, I can make sure it's all fixed later. Hmm. This is so weird. Which just adds on to how ridiculous this is. That's gonna get rid of my torches. <sighs> All right, so we got the first part of this pretty set and done. It's pretty dang close to com being ready. I just need to get the roof, which is gonna take a while. But once it's done, they'll be we'll be we'll be solid. We'll be rocking and rolling. Patch up a few more in. Oh, more than enough. That's great. Uh, now we just have to go down safely. 
Ow! Oh, you s- And there we have it. Just need to get this all covered up. And we should be good. Uh, food. I'll take that. Uh, it's about time I got some actual food. I just got, uh, I'm gonna make some slabs. So we can. Ah. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. Uh, will that work? Uh, that's not supposed to happen. Great. And that is why we need to have a ceiling on this. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead. Uh, we can fix that now, actually. Don't you dare blow up. Or kill me. Oh, well, I'm out of torches. Hopefully that'll be enough. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, we have officially made our mob spawner. Is it the prettiest in the world? Heck no. But is it functional? Most definitely. Uh, let's see if it's actually doing anything. We're getting mobs drops. For better or worse, we're getting mob drops. We're finally able to have our fireworks. <laughs> and I think that's I think that's the biggest benefit we're getting out of this thing. Uh, now I think we need to have a finishing touch though. Warning, falling monsters. Ah, uh, there we go. Now that is a success in my book. I think I have I think we've accomplished something great. Uh, we got we're getting a lot of goodies here. Uh, we got Ooh, this is awesome. I, I can finally use the sugarcane farm to its fullest now. And I can probably start making a flight duration 3 rockets. Ooh. Nice. Flight duration three. Yeah. That's that's great. And just just regular flight duration one rockets for uh I guess. That, that's nice as well. Um yeah, let's just have them on these sides. Alright. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, it's been interesting to make. I've never actually done anything productive, which is weird to say, uh, until this episode. Now, there is one thing I want to get done here. Uh, I don't have enough iron for the iron bars bits, but... <laughs> well, see you guys, and have a good one. Goodbye!